Hey, Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're taking a look at a Zoller uh, 161 series pump that actually was damaged in transit. Um, so here is the leg that went missing off of the back side of this volute here. So that leg right there popped off. So we've got a new volute that we've ordered. It's in now, so we're gonna install that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and simple to put these on. I've just got a uh, half inch spanner, a uh, nut driver, and then a Phillips, or I'm sorry, a flathead screwdriver. So we'll just jump right into it. So I'll just start by loosening the volute up. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspect the mechanical seal. Since, since the pump was damaged in transit, I did order a replacement mechanical seal in the event that we need to replace it. Um, but I haven't seen any evidence of oil, so I think that the seal is in okay shape. So if we don't need to replace it, then I'm not going to. Stick them in the top of this other piece so I know where they go and we're ready to put them back. So now this should just lift right out of here. And we can move that out of the way. And now we got a clear view of our impeller. It's kind of interesting. When I look in here, I've got this residue. Um, what this is, this is evidence of the water test that the factory does. So they water test all the pumps to ensure that they're working before they leave the factory. So that's all that, that the residue that we're seeing in here is. It, it, the pump hasn't actually been run. Um, so I'm just looking in here for any evidence of oil. And I'm actually going to go grab a paper towel real quick just to make sure that there isn't any oil. And I'll just take this and kind of rub it in the creases to see if I can't spot any evidence of oil. Um, and then I can also inspect in between this crack here. And I can look at the seal. And you can actually see the ceramic from this side as I rotate it here. Um, and it looks fine. I don't see any issues with that at all. No evidence of oil either. So I think we're okay to just go ahead and set this right back on top. So move this out of the way for a second. Or actually, before I get, get this bolted back on, I'm gonna take these accessories off. So we've got this uh, suction screen or the screen that prevents the stuff from getting sucked into the pump. And then there's also a screw hole or a vent over here so i don't think that yeah it, this didn't ship with that so let me just move this real quick okay so i'm just going to take this screw out here and replace that in the new volute And this is just a uh, anti-airlock uh, screw, so a person can remove that, and then it just allows any air that enters the volute to escape through that hole. But somebody may opt to plug that, that's why they ship it with that screw in there. Um, and then we got just the underside here. Simple design on this but effective. All right, so this is ready for recycling. Okay, now we're ready to set the pump back on here. Get all the holes lined up. And 
then replace the bolts. That is for the float. If there's a automatic float, they would have the lower portion of the float mounted to that piece there. Now these don't have to be overly tight. You just want them nice and snug. Since it's threaded on the interior of the volute itself, they generally aren't going to back off. You give them a good snug. <clears throat> and I like to just work my way kind of around, snugging things up. Okay. So it does help if I put the pump back together the way it was originally this tab actually needs to go on this side so we're just going to do a quick rotation here So there we go. That was uh, quick and simple replacing uh, a volute on this 161 series pump. So now, obviously, we've just got to get this cord repaired, uh, which that's going to have to actually be sent off to a uh, certified repair facility. So we won't unfortunately be able to show that one today. So uh, that's it for today. Catch you guys later.